Prince Harry, 37, is the chief impact officer at Better Up. Therefore, he has interviewed Olympic snowboarder Chloe Kim and psychologist Adam Grant for a short film about developing proactive mental fitness practices. In his interview with Chloe, Harry asked, how would you describe your relationship between the mind and the body, when it comes to operating at peak performance? Chloe responded, it would be unrealistic for me to expect to go out there and land an amazing run or learn a new trick if I wasnt feeling good mentally. I can't expect myself to perform at my peak when I am doubting myself and am feeling negative emotions. If I'm not feeling good mentally then it will jeopardize my physical health and they go hand in hand. So for the past couple of years, I've just been prioritizing that, listening to my body and I'm in such a better place. Throughout Chloe's answer, the prince nodded continuously and uttered, yep, and, him, sounds. Judy James, a body language expert, analyzed Harry's interviewing skills in this short clip from Better Up. She claimed, Harry's body language here looks amazing, but it is more suitable for an interviewee than someone trying to make the other person relaxed and able to open up during an interview he is hosting. Sitting back in his seat like this with his knees splayed is a power pose. He taps his hand on his leg and his blink rate is staccato, suggesting he is setting the pace rather than giving the power to the interviewees. His feet are stacked one on top of the other which might be a distraction. What do these poses suggest about Prince Harry's body language? The expert suggested, this pose looks like a rather gallant and dashing Prince Harry. But the job of an interviewer is to pace and lead in a way that has a relaxing effect on the interviewee. Harry's sit back and splay pose seems to have closed the other person down, as their legs are crossed and their hands are on their legs in a barrier ritual. The trick is to mirror first, then pace and lead, meaning Harry could try looking a little less confident himself first to create empathy, slowly encouraging the other person to adopt a more relaxed pose as they chat. Thank you.